Hi, and welcome back to our Bootstrap 4 series. In the previous section, we finished up the social media platform with the messages and profile pages. In this section, we'll kick off a new project and we'll learn how to create a login and registration form within Bootstrap. This will include covering off and learning how to use Bootstrap's tab content. From there, we will build out our login and registration screens and finally apply some polish in the form of alerts, tooltips, and popovers. In this video, we will cover off the first item on the list, the tabbed content list. This will include understanding how the Bootstraps 4 tab components work, applying this knowledge and creating our own custom tab content structure, and finally linking these together with various buttons. As we are starting a new project in this section, let's first start by once again duplicating our Bootstrap template we made in section 1. I will rename the folder to Login and Registration. To wrap our head around how a tabbed component works, I will first copy and paste an example from Bootstrap's 4 documentation on the tab component. You won't need to type this out at all. At a high level, you can see there are two distinct groups of HTML. There is a menu, the first section here, and then there is the content, the second section. Without going into too much detail, we can see that the links inside the menu have an attribute called data-toggle equals tab, which lets Bootstrap's JavaScript know that this is in fact a menu item for the tab. The associated href hashtag ID is the exact content section is linked with. Looking at the tab content, you can see that we have set the same ID coupling the link. Now viewing this in the browser, you can see this finally taking shape. Simply clicking on a tab will hide and show the tab content. There is no additional JavaScript needed to get this to work. Bootstrap script simply iterate through, looking for the data hyphen toggle and bind that content to that button. We're going to clear this example and get started on creating our own custom tab structure. I'll firstly set a faded background on the body and include an additional margin on top of three. Create three nested divs with the classes being container, row, and col-4. This will help set up a container with a column width of one third. We're going to create our tab contents containers first and work our menu amongst this. Create a div with the class of tab content. We must wrap the tab panes with inside this. Next, create a div with inside that. This will be our login tab content. Set the class to tab pane and active. The active class will determine which tab is shown first. Add the ID of login and the role of tab panel to help screen readers understand the context of the following content. I'll add some login text as a placeholder for now. Let's duplicate this and change the values for register. Viewing this in the browser doesn't look like much, but we can see the registration content is being hidden already. We just need a way to switch the tabs now. Create an anchor tag and set the login. Here is where we will include the data attribute of data hyphen toggle equal tab. As this is going to the register, set the href to hashtag register and finally set the role of tab. Include some content within the href for now. Copy this link for the register pane and link it back to the login. Here we go, we can now switch tabs back and forth. It doesn't look like much for now, but we are now switching our content on the fly with just data attributes and IDs, no extra scripting required. In this video, we learned how the tabbed content works within Bootstrap and applied this knowledge to create our own custom structure for the login and registration form.